had a lot of trouble um, bending this. Um, there was a lot of buckling on the areas where there's not a lot of wood through the gun port holes. And we actually broke one. So you have to be very, very careful when doing this bending, particularly with these type of areas. This will break very easily. We use the um, blow dryer to speed up the bending. And it really helps a lot uh, if you do that. We had to rub it out an area in the back here so that this walnut piece could fit in here and also open up this edge here. And we got all of the gun port holes to line up except when we reached at the top. And we had quite a bit of um, a bedroom to do. We're dry fitting it now. And we push the back down. And I'm not sure if you can see this, but this is the only one that really um, is, is giving trouble. I suppose you can better see it on this side. Whereas all the other ones line up, there's a little movement on this side. So what we'll do is stick it and then um, just cut that the excess out. Again, we're using PVA glue. Um, it gives you lots of opportunity to adjust before the glue gets critical. And I would think the most important parts are really just around the gun port windows where you need a, a solid join. Um, that's the most important part. And then you can just randomly put glue all over the place. And you can see um, the glue there placed. Um, we'll also put some on the actual walnut strip as well. And here is the walnut uh, with the glue on it. And as you see, you can never have enough clamps. Um, clamps on either side of the windows. I used heavier clamps on the front of the model because this is the part of the bend that was giving trouble to pull it in and keep it tight against the plywood uh, section. And as it looks, we only have to trim on this this gun porthole here. All the rest seems to end up fine. We're cutting the walnut sides for the gun ports, and to do this, uh, to make sure there are no burrs, we put a piece of wood on the on the saw, and then put the walnut right up against it. And that results in a real nice clean cut. Uh, if you didn't do this, you'd have a lot of burring and splitting on the boards. And there we have the first one done. Uh, looks square, and we'll sand that down to make it flush with the false gun port support side. Here we are, and they're all in. And uh, we just let that dry. We use C to put them in. And um, PVA would just take too long and these needed to be stuck hard relatively quickly. Here we are, um, all the gun port um, facings are in, and it, it looks pretty good. Uh, you can see both inside, and so now we're going to plank the, um, the outside wheel, above the wheel, and um, on both sides. They say a big man apologizes when he is wrong, and so this is my apology to call the craft. Well, I have to say, the cradle really holds the boat um, 
try allowing you to work in it and work on it and um, once once you've completed the first planking and the second planking and you're working above that area it really is the perfect medium to hold the boat while you work on it so um, call the craft I have to say I was wrong and you were right <laughs>